You will need one refinery, a refinery, if in survival to make this you will need 20 computers, 12 motors, 20 large steel tubes, 40 construction components, 1200 steel plates, 23 conveyor tubes, 13 normal or straight, 9 curved, if in survival you will need 92 bulletproof glass, 184 motors, 276 small steel tubes, 920 construction components, components and 230 steel plates to make all of these. You will need 6 small cargo containers. Uh, if you are in survival you will need 12 computers, 6 displays, 12 motors, 120 small steel tubes, 240 construction components and 240. Uh, 200, I think that's actually it. Um, if You will also need two small reactors. If in survival, you need 50 computers, 12 motors, 200 reactor components, 16 large steel tubes, 8 metal grinds, 80 construction components, and 160 steel plates. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to uh, Space Engineers Tutorial. Today we're going to show you how you can build a reactor system like mine I've got in my ship. Now, I do know I uploaded one similar to this. This is a redo of it because I've had some feedback saying I should redo it because I had to stop and mine. Uh, if you're watching the person that gave me feedback, I won't say his name, have the uranium here. You're going to need uranium ore for it. You're going to need a refinery. You're going to need a co uh, conveyor, which I think... Will it show me? Uh, it won't. I'll just type it in. Two seconds. Con VR. So you can see. If you're in survival, you'll need this to build it. Uh, two motors, 50 small steel tubes, 40 construction components uh, for a large ship and a, st a, a large ship and a station. This is interior and 50 interior plates. You're gonna need for the conveyor. You're gonna need about because uh, I'm gonna do two reactors for this one. Uh, you're gonna need two. No, three, sorry, correction, my mistake, you're going to need three of them. Uh, refinery, you're going to need one refinery, which you need uh, 20 computers, 12 motors, 20 large steel tubes, 40 construction components if you're in survival, and 1,200 steel plates if you're uh, using a large ship or station. Uh, you're also going to need a small reactor, which you need to build a small reactor, you need 25, you're going to do two of these, so you're going to need 25 times 2 computers, so 50 computers, 12 motors, 200 reactor components, 8 large steel tubes, uh, 4 metal grinds, uh, no, 8 metal grinds, grinds my uh, correction, 80 construction components, 160 steel plates, you're going to need, um, you're also going to need, because we're getting some tubes, you can probably see Kill Crazy in the background there, uh, you need about, I'm going to say get 15 to be sure with the tubes. You're going to need bulletproof glass times 15, which I will get a calculator just to actually solve that. Because my brain is not in gear because it is a Sunday. Um, <laughs> calculator. Let me just do this while I know. So 15, you're going to need for a curved tube. So let's say 15 of those, so 4 times 15. I'm going to get this so I get it right. 60. You're going to need bulletproof glasses, or glass. You're going to need 8 times 15. You're going to need 120 motors, which I should have known, because it was double. Uh, you're going to need... Oh, if I actually type this right. 180 steel, uh, ste ah, small steel tubes. Um, excuse my voice, because I'm losing it a little bit, my voice. Um, Construction components, 40 times 15. You're going to need 600 construction components, and you're going to need 150 steel plates. Now, you're going to need, I'm going to say, 15 conveyor tubes to be safe. You, so, that again is pretty much the same as I said for the curved one, you just need, it's just that it's different pretty much. And if you do a small ship, you need an extra steel plate. That's the only difference pretty much. Uh, you're also going to obviously need uranium uh, for this, you, um, and I think I showed, yep, I showed the conveyor, I remember that. So, let's get into it. 
So, what we need to do is, I'll show you mine quickly, if I can actually get in the door. Uh, this is mine, if I just get rid of that. This is mine setup, very, very complex. Um, I've got conveyors, uh, small reactors, a large reactor, and my refinery. So, uh, we're going to go step by step, basically how to build this. As you can see, this kill crazy. Um, I do apologise about the frame rate. Uh, kill crazy, if you're listening, can you close the doors behind me, please? That'd be much appreciated. Um, right. So, if we go to the platform, if I actually use my jetpack properly, there we go. Right. So, first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need not to jump off the platform, that is. You're going to need to put your refinery down, uh, have any colour you want. I'm going to use red, like my ship is. Then you're going to need to put this in here. Now, the key to this uh, is there's two ways of doing it. Because I'm going to try and answer it every way of doing it. You can either have it here, or you can, if you're in, have it here, or if you're in survival, and you'll have to build up to this bit, you can have it on top so you can actually access it easier. So, I'm going to do it on top for this one, and I'll show off both ways. So, you get there your obviously pipes. You might need a bit more, but I don't think you would. Because I'm sure I calculated it right. Uh, let's say, so we want that. You then put your pipes there like this. And then you use... I'm just checking how many I've used. One, two. So I've used the correct amount. And then let's use that. So this will still work the same way as the way I showed, but it just means it will come off out of the top instead. Um, as you can see, Kill Crazy is using this ship there, <laughs> trying to show it off, I think. Uh, one, two, three, you then put these down like so. You then what you need, if you want to use, now if you want to use the simple one, if you don't want to go cargo containers, you can do this, just get two nuclear reactors, put um, Kill Crazy is going on a flight test, he just told me. Uh, you put your two conveyors here, and you then pretty much uh, put your pipes into the conveyors. If I can actually get this turned around, which it's been a pain on camera. Uh, there we go. Uh, and then that's the wrong way, of course. Sorry about this, guys. Um, you then put these into there. Now, some people might ask, why do I only put it, uh, the pipes into one of the conveyors? Now, the conveyor works as a power transfer, uh, like mover. So if you power this one, it will power that one. Because it acts like a pipe in the middle. But obviously, you can't do that, as I know, for the nuclear reactors. So, if I put this one here, that, let me just check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so you power that, um, I will go through the second one, which I'll go through again what you need for this, and then you power that, then what you need to do is go over to your refinery, if you have, let's say, uranium, obviously, if you're going for a nuclear reactor, you go in there, you go to your infantry, you put this uranium, if I can just split it up, two seconds, I apologise here guys, um, I want to put 2,000, uh, I can, I'll just get some more, and as you can see, uh, if I go back there, as you can see it's going down, if I go to the nuclear reactors, which the easiest way to get in now, obviously it's a bit harder in survival to do this, if I can actually get on, is go to this one, click the control panel, go into there. As you can see, these small reactors, they're distributing it out. So, like, you're getting it, it splits up, goes into the conveyors, and they split between them, the uh, uranium, and it goes into each reactor separately. Now, if you want to be more complex with this, um, and you want to go for a cargo container uh, one added onto this, I'll show you this one first, you can actually do that, but you're going to need more stuff. Obviously, you've got your f uh, what you've got here, so you've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, conveyor tubes. You've got one, two, three, four, uh, sorry, eleven conveyor tubes, my apologies, four 
of these. Now what you're going to need to do this is some more of these. You're going to need another, depending on how much, I'm, I'm going to say go for another two, maybe three of these. I'd say three for the design I'm going to show you. Which means you're going to need, if you're in survival, I shall show you again. Uh, if I could actually spell it, that is. Uh, conveyor. Let me just find it. Two seconds. There we go. For survival, if you're in that, for a large ship or station, you're going to need, because you're going for two, you're going to need four motors, a hundred more steel tubes, four, uh, 80 sorry, construction components, and a hundred interior plates. If you're going for a small ship, it's a bit different. Uh, as you can see there. So you've got two of those. Again, for these, you're going to need. Just trying to work out. Ah. Um, for these, you're going to need. I'm going to say you're going to need about four. No, I'm going to say seven actually, to be precise. You know, to be on the safe side again, you're going to need. And I'm going to need my calculator, which I have on hand, uh, to do this for you guys. So I get this right. Because I want to get this totally right, get the right calculations. Uh, so you need 7, so it'll be 4 times 7, which I should know. Um, 28, you're going to need 28 bulletproof gas. You're going to need 8 times 7, that one I really don't know. Uh, so I'm going to have to use a calculator. 8 times 7 equals 56 motors. You're going to need times 12 times 7 which is 84 uh, small steel tubes. You're going to need 40. This one I definitely need this for. I think I already know it though. 280 construction components. And you're going to need 70 steel plates. Now you have to double that because you're going to get the same amount of the curved ones and they're pretty much the same as you can see. Now, you won't need another refinery for this, but you're going to need a new component called a small cargo container. Now, for this, I'm going to use... Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm going to use more of those. I'm going to use six small cargo containers. So you're going to need six times two, which is twelve. You're going to need twelve computers. You're going to need six displays. You're going to need 12 motors. You're going to need... Uh, I think... I just want to check this. Just so I get this right, because I don't want to mess this up. I apologise that it's taken a bit longer. Uh, 20 small steel tubes. Uh, so, 20 times 6. Because I want to get this exactly right, so you guys can do it perfectly. 120 small steel tubes. You're going to need... Uh, 40 times... Uh, six, 240 construction components, you're going to need 240 interior plates on top of this. So now how you build this is you get your pipes, of course, and you basically wire this up so it's there. Um, but you would could wire up there, actually, which I'm going to show you. Um, and you basically get your cargo components, you do this this. No. Sorry. Wrong place. My apologies there, guys. Uh, you do this. you got your conveyor. You stick two conveyors there. Now, as you know, that will power into there, to power into there. So, anything here will power. So, now what you need to do is get your curved uh, tubes. You stick your curved tubes there. One there. And you stick one there, you then stick, you get your mo other three cargo compo uh, containers, sorry, and you get, stick those there, and you stick one there, and you stick one there. Now, if you were, I shall show you, now, I would use the sides for this, because it's the easiest to access, you can do that. You go through that. Actually, there's an easier way. You actually access the inventory. Now, if I was to just borrow some of this small reactor's uranium, which I can't borrow for some reason, um, my apologies, I shall just borrow some of the uranium instead, uh, which I plan to do. I will stop the refinery working for the minute. If I was to do that, and I was to go to there, then I add that uranium, 
it starts to go out as you just saw and that will then move to a refinery which will start doing uh, putting that into mass it's all uranium ingots which will then go into the right uh, I'm gonna say thanks for watching on that note guys um, I hope you enjoyed basically as I will just show the last bit off if you need to put the refinery stuff in there, you get your stuff, you put the refinery stuff in there, which will go, not your refinery stuff, but your ores, I think that is, yes, your ores into there, which will move into the refinery, if you do it with a reactor, you get any uranium ingots, like that, you put them into your cargo container, which will go into your reactor, so I'm going to say thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, please like if you like, please give me more comments and feedback on the Reddit, uh, Space and News Reddit, and the Game Reddit. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.